Who knows how many stars there are? This question has fascinated scientists and philosophers and dreamers throughout the ages. One of them was Sir Frederick William Herschel, born in 1738 in Hanover, Germany. Herschel became well known as both an astronomer and a musician. He moved to England in 1757. Herschel is famous for his discovery of the planet Uranus in 1781, the first new planet discovered in the modern era. But Herschel made another dramatic discovery in 1800. He wanted to know how much heat passed through the different colored filters he used to observe sunlight. He noted that filters of different colors seemed to pass different amounts of heat. Herschel thought that the colors themselves might be of varying temperatures. So he devised a clever experiment to investigate his hypothesis. He directed sunlight through a glass prism to create a spectrum and then measured the temperature of each color. Herschel used three thermometers with blackened bulbs for each color of the spectrum. As he measured the individual temperatures of the violet, blue, green, yellow, orange and red light, he noticed that all of the colors had temperatures higher than the controls. Moreover, he found that the temperatures of the colors increased from the violet to the red part of the spectrum. After noticing this pattern, Herschel decided to measure the temperature just beyond the red portion of the spectrum, in a region where no sunlight was visible. To his surprise, he found that this region had the highest temperature. Herschel's experiment was important because it marked the first time that someone demonstrated that there were types of light that we cannot see with our eyes. What Herschel had discovered was a form of light beyond red light, now known as infrared radiation. Our eyes are detectors that are designed to detect this visible light. There are other forms of light that we cannot see, as Herschel had discovered. Few animals can see infrared. However, rattlesnakes and other pit vipers have two small organs or pits between their eyes and nostrils that detect infrared radiation. Hence, even in the dark, they can accurately strike at warm-blooded prey. The human eye can only see a very small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. At one end of the spectrum, we cannot see gamma rays, ultraviolet light and X-rays. While at the other end, our eyes cannot see infrared, microwaves or radio waves. Infrared radiation lies between the visible and microwave portions of the electromagnetic spectrum. 